yourself in the band. Yeah, it sucked. Um, obviously, I want to get back with the team and uh, get back to playing hockey. Just, you know, the timing of something like this, I assume, is never good. Playing guys are playing short. Just kind of heated you a little bit. Something so crazy that happened. Yeah, totally. Um, complete, uh, obviously, accident and um, unfortunate that it happened. Um, it's a disgusting habit that I'm assuming a lot of, a lot of other sports, just athletes, have in general. Um, suck that it happened, but moving on and uh, just looking to play good hockey the rest of the rest of the stretch here. How hard was it for you to watch these guys go out there? Um, it was really hard. Um, the days are uh, the days get pretty boring quick. Um, being out that long, so I think uh, it was a good uh, mind and body reset. Uh, obviously, a little break away from the rink, but still coming in, getting good workouts in, getting good skates in, uh, staying uh, uh, staying in the best shape I can while uh, with the circumstances. So I think uh, just managing that. You worry. You know what was next, and people involved know what was next. But do you ever get a concern that people outside might get an impression of you that it's not you? I mean, people are going to have impressions all over the place. I think. Uh, I think. I mean, for me, it's just controlling what I can control. I mean, um, all my friends, my family, um, the guys in this room, uh, all these guys know the type of person I am, um, the type of person that uh, got kicked out of that game in, uh, against LA. It's not me. It's not my personality. It's not the type of player or person I am. So um, I think uh, I think people know that. And um, like I said, it was just unfortunate circumstance. When you get back in, do you feel like guys will be talking smack for that? And that's kind of We'll see. It seemed like it was important for you to have the conversation with Gowdy, and that was a good conversation, it sounded like. Yeah. yeah. That was a good conversation. Yeah. So, so that I'm sure that made you feel better about the whole thing, at least being able to talk up here with him. Yeah. Yeah, that was something I wanted to do. Um, as soon as I left the ice there, um, I asked one of our media guys if I could go speak with him after the game, and they said, yeah, we'll try to coordinate something. So I think that was within five, ten minutes of the game ending. Took up all my stuff and uh, he met me outside and had a few words and that was that.